Hi, let's revisit audios, ticker symbol audio, A-U-D-I-O, currently at $2.40, a market rank of exactly 100 with a market cap of approximately 1 billion. Now there was quite a bit of a hype around audios on the 17th of August, a lot of trading volume during that day because of an integration that has been announced between TikTok and audios. So TikTok sound library is going to use audios. And so there was a lot of excitement. The price went up by more than 100%. And so when you look at the last video around audios, the last video on this channel, we discussed exactly that. The problem is when price increases while trading volume increases, that there's short-term attention on a cryptocurrency. And once that attention fades, the short-term traders that went into the crypto during this hype, they tend to sell. And so the price tends to drop as well. In this video, though, we are not just looking at the US dollar chart here, right? As usual, we will look at the Bitcoin chart. We will also look at audios in relation to Ethereum. So does audios outperform Ethereum? And last but not least, we will have a general view around the markets. Where's Bitcoin dominance right now? Where's the altcoin season right now? What's the situation with Ethereum and Ethereum's momentum? Because in the end, Ethereum does dictate where the altcoins are going, right? If you're in a downtrend like this, it's very unlikely that you will find any altcoin that made money during this period, right? So you need to look at the leading cryptocurrencies and need to find out where's general market sentiment headed to have a gauge of if you should short-term speculate in altcoins or not. So one thing to note is when you look at a cryptocurrency at rank 100, you're taking on much more risk than when you simply buy, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Ethereum's market dominance currently is at 18.8%. So almost 19% of all of crypto is in Ethereum. And so when you compare this to audios, you're looking at 0.05%. So that means that Ethereum is 376 times larger than audios. Even though market rank 100 might sound respectable, the crypto markets, they are really highly concentrated. Place 100 puts you at such a small fraction compared to the leader in smart contracts, decentralized apps. So you're taking on much more risk. Now that in turn means you should expect an outperformance for taking on that risk, right? Because otherwise, what's the point? Why should you take on more risk but not make more money? And so what we do is we will look at the relative performance of audios to Ethereum. And what we can see is basically a lot of volatility, right? If you time this right, you can make a 16x versus Ethereum. If you don't time it right though, you can lose 70% versus Ethereum. So timing the market here does matter. And it very much looks like the price increases in audios, they are driven by attention. So when you've got high trading volume, when there's attention on the token, the price tends to rise. If we look here at the all time high versus Ethereum, we also had the second most busy day in trading for audios. And so when you want to buy this, it does make sense to only go into the asset when trading volume is low, but that's not enough because trading volume can be low and the price can still bleed, right? If you buy during a hype day, obviously that's dangerous. But if trading volume goes down and is at a low level, we can still continue to fall, right? There's already been low trading volume around here and still we fell by like 50%. So you also don't wanna be in such a movement. So what makes sense is to buy into something like this when the price already tends to stabilize and the trading volume is low. Because then you know there's not a lot of attention on the token and the current holders of the crypto, they are staying in the asset, right? They are not afraid of a further bleed. They're holding on. And once the price stabilizes, as it happened over here, then the next rally can come. And so where are we at right now? It doesn't look too positive, right? We continue to bleed. Trading volume is still relatively high. And so it's not impossible at all that trading volume goes down further and the price bleeds further. So the best really is to watch when does the price here stabilize versus Ethereum, not in US dollar terms, because you're really just looking for outperformance. Otherwise, if you just want general crypto exposure, you can simply buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. But the reason why you go down this list of altcoins, why you go to place 100 is for outperformance, is to take on more risk 
to have more potential for gains. And so all you really care about is the relative performance to Ethereum. And so simply wait for the price to consolidate. Simply wait for this to go sideways for a while, for attention to completely fade. And then it might make sense to make a small bet and hope that we reach again those all-time highs. This would then be from the current level an approximate gain of 230%. In the end though, you probably don't just want to make Ethereum gains, right? You're looking to make US dollars. And in order for this to work, the general crypto market has to go up. There needs to be an altcoin rally. People need to be hungry to take on more risk. And so one way to measure this is to look at Bitcoin dominance. So this is now a chart that represents how much of overall crypto is in Bitcoin. So what you see over here is a percentage number. Currently around 40% of all of crypto is in Bitcoin. The rest is in Ethereum and is in altcoins. So we've got 40% in Bitcoin. We've got 18, 19% in Ethereum. And so the remaining 40% is everything else. That's all the altcoins. Now there's something a little bit scary around this chart. And that's this point over here. This is 37% of all of crypto was in Bitcoin. That was at the beginning of 2018. And in case this doesn't ring a bell yet, the beginning of 2018 was here. This is now the Bitcoin chart. We went down by more than 80% in Bitcoin. And Bitcoin was the asset that went down the least. Because what you can see over here is that Bitcoin dominance afterwards shot up. So what happened here when Bitcoin went down from here in price, it's that the Ethereums, the Cardanos, they lost much more. Here, look at Ethereum during the same time went down 94%. Wondering what Cardano did? Cardano went down 97%. This almost doesn't sound like a big difference, right? 94, 97%. But think about it. When you go from 94 to 97%, you're losing another 50%. So instead of having 6% of your capital left, you've only got 3% of your capital left. So this is basically a complete destruction of your capital. There's nothing left here anymore or basically nothing. And so approaching this low level again is somewhat scary, right? The question here really is, are you aware of the potential risk that you take on when dabbling into altcoins? And what we've just looked at were the major altcoins, right? Ethereum, Cardano. Cardano was already a big player over here. Now, when you go into things like Audios, market rank 100, you're not going to have 3% of your capital left. You're probably going to have 1% or even less of it left if a correction like this is about to happen. Now, will it happen? Nobody knows. You can draw all kinds of fancy lines on long-term Bitcoin charts. You can also look at regression lines. You can do all kinds of things and then figure out what's my potential risk versus reward. But in the end, all of those things, they are imaginary lines. You can also do backtesting. I, for example, like to look at two moving averages for Ethereum, the 23 and the 39 day moving average because of the reason that they worked historically very well when you backtest this. So this is another potential red flag here. We are very close to crossing those two moving averages. Now, I'm not saying that this has to happen, that we are going down from here with a high likelihood. Nobody knows. But if Ethereum really goes to like 3,200 or something like this, and that's not very far away from here, right? This is maybe another 6% drop or so. If you're not shooting back up here, there's definitely potential to lose 35, 40, maybe even temporarily 50% from where we are right now. This is definitely on the cards for Ethereum. And once you've got something more volatile than that, once you are in audios, this drop will be more pronounced. This here is a 73% drop. So why do I say these things? It's simply for you to understand that position sizing, the size of your bet that you put into altcoins really matters. You don't want to put 5% or 10% of your overall net worth in the single altcoin bet simply because this can go wrong very, very quickly. Timing really matters. This is three months and this is a 84% loss. So I personally, I would not buy audios right now. I'm not saying it can't go up from here, right? Nobody can predict the future, but I simply look at risk versus reward. The overall market looks potentially dangerous. At least it's not obviously bullish anymore. There's a real risk that we go down in price. The current momentum for audios isn't positive either. We have still high trading volume. We are in a downwards trend. We have not stabilized anywhere yet. And so 
I personally, I stay away from audios right now. I don't think it's a good buy here at $2.41. Of course, if everything goes up, if now Ethereum hits 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 US dollars, this number here will go up as well. But I simply look at risk versus reward. Audios is way smaller than Ethereum. And so why take on all this risk right now? When it doesn't look like there will be an outperformance and when the overall direction of the crypto market currently is not clear i think it makes sense to limit risk right now and be somewhat cautious the potential reward versus the potential risk is not worth it for me if you enjoyed this video please give this a like youtube will then help to grow the channel and if you haven't yet feel free to subscribe as well i publish a video every single day hitting the notifications might not be a bad idea either because obviously those kind of videos they are time sensitive you don't want to watch them when they are two or three months old if you want to act based on the information you might as well watch the video while it's fresh last but not least we've got a telegram channel we are almost 600 people right now we enjoy discussing altcoins over there we enjoy discussing the general crypto market over there would be great to see you there as well you can find us either by clicking the link in the video description or simply by searching for bitcoin strategy channel within the telegram app see you next time bye bye